everyone. It feels like it's been forever since I've done a Facebook Live. I think it's been almost four weeks since I've done one. I have been away and then we had uh, the July 4th holiday. So when we normally do them, um, uh, it was just, I just couldn't do them from Thailand. I didn't have my supplies with me and everything, but um, I had a great time in Thailand. It was, I mean, it, it was a trip across the world. We were in the opposite time zone. So if it was noon here, it was close to midnight in, in Thailand. It was like one hour off of that. But it was great. We got there. Um, they had our names on, like all the Stampin' Up! demonstrators each had like a name on their their door. Our, our room was amazing. It had a view of uh, the lagoon and uh, the ocean. Um, it was just great to go on a vacation with so many people that I already know, uh, faces that I'm seeing again and again, and I had a great time. And thanks a lot uh, to all of you. I really appreciate my customers, my downline, and even just people that just join in and, and watch my videos and stuff. Um, that all helps. So thank you so much for all of that. Um, good morning, everyone. I, I missed a few of you already. So I'll say hello to Michelle and Catherine and Janie. Um, I, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the first few. I'll go back and say hello afterwards in the comments. Um, uh, hello, Cheryl. I'm so glad you guys are here. Um, so one of the things I brought back from Thailand, um, we were at, um, after the Stampin' Up! Um, trip, we could add on uh, an extra trip either before or after or both. And we decided to do a post trip to Chiang Mai, which is in the northern part of uh, Thailand. And they had this, our hotel was really close to the night market. And it's really cool. All these vendors set up tables and stuff. It's like a, a flea market, except Thai style. You know, have you ever seen on TV those tanks where um, you can put your feet in and the little fish, you know, eat the little dead skin cells off your fish? Well, I, I did not do that. But we saw that um, there were all sorts of interesting things for sale, like exotic fruits. Um, they had crafts like silk ties, silk scarves. It was just amazing. Just walking through all the stands, just seeing all the colors and the smells and the different things they have for sale. Well, one of the things they had for sale just really caught my eye. And it might not have caught everyone else's eye, but... Um, it, there was a guy there and he was tying rope and he was creating different animals. And one of the animals he was creating was this dragon. And this is just so cool. Like you can kind of see it maybe here, but um, it was like just basically he, he tied this. And then this is the rope back here. It is like flattened out and it, it has some sort of hardening, maybe a shellac or something on it. And it's colored. And I just thought that's the coolest thing ever. Um, for me, it's cool because I hadn't seen it before. And I love creativity. I love when someone can take something that I would not have thought make a uh, dragon out of rope. And he's, the cool thing too, is he can bend. Like he's like flexible. I'm, I thought that was just so awesome and cool. And I, I'm gonna keep him near my desk as a reminder to always look at things a little differently, to be creative, you know. So um, that, that surprised me at the market. I knew about the silk scarves, I knew about lots of different things, but he's gonna be my little, um, my little mascot, so to speak, and remind me that I should be creative, look at things differently and see what I can make out of them. But anyway, I had a great time on my trip and uh, thanks again for everyone who helped me get there. 
Today is Casing Tuesday. That's why we're here today. And every Tuesday, uh, Catalina or I pick a card out of the catalog and we copy it and we change it. And then we ask you guys to participate in our Facebook group. And what I did today, I was a little smarter. I actually copy pasted the link right away into the description of this Facebook Live. So if you're not already a Facebook Live, um, uh, sorry, Casing Tuesday Facebook group person. Um, for um, if you want to join that, just click on the link, and Catalina and I will approve you later today. And then you can join in, and you can see our cards. We have them posted there, but everyone can join in and I think that's the charm of this is that it's not just Kathleen or I it's not a passive thing you can join in and we can comment on your cards and so it's really great and it's kind of a community feel and we do that once a week and you're welcome to go back and do our old challenges but we all do the same card so it's not just like random cards out of the catalog uh, well we pick them, but we pick them so that we can all do the same card so we can see all the different variations that people can do with them. So uh, that is the cool, cool thing about this group. So I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you the card that we picked today and I'm going to show you what I did and then I'm going to create the card for you. So let me just take this just a second. Let me turn you around. Okay, there is my view. It's kind of um, a cloudy day, but yesterday it rained all day. It was kind of a sad, cold day. And today it's cold. It's like, um, why is my camera? Okay, let me get this. Let me get this situated here. Sorry, guys, I'm wiggling you around just a little bit. It's been a couple of weeks. Let me take my jacket off. So I have my hands free. Okay, so this is the card um, that Kalina chose. It's actually a Christmas card, but the good news is with casing, you can change it into whatever card you want. And it's a really pretty Christmas card, but it also makes a really pretty summer card. And I was feeling kind of in a summery mood when I got that. So I turned it into popsicles. Um, Oh, and Michelle asked, do I have any swaps to share? So um, I did not swap while I was in Thailand. I swapped on my first trip, which was last year. And um, I don't have an in-person business. I am all online. And so um, for me, I decided that it, I, I know in some ways, I mean, I guess I could have posted the swaps, but for me, I decided that to take the time to do the swaps wasn't um, a good use of, of my time because I don't have a need for them right now in my business, so I opted not to swap. There are, if you do a search online and you do like Thailand swaps, I'm sure you will find people that have posted all the swaps. I did take a photograph of some of the, the swap boards. Um, Maybe I can share some of those photos on my Facebook group, but they are not my own creation. So, um, but if you do a uh, search for swaps, I'm sure you will find them. Um, so anyway, this is the card that I created and I'm going to show you how to make it. The main ingredient for this card is the Cool Treat stamp set. And I really, really love the stamp set. And the reason I love it so much is that it's got images, it's got words, and it's got a matching um, die set to go with it. And later this week, you are going to see something that I have made with this that is going to make you want to get the set because it's really, really cool. Um, so I've been working on that at the beginning of this week, and I will have videos um, coming out um, over the next couple of days. It's going to be kind of a two-part um, thing that I'm going to show you how to um, use this particular stamp set. It's perfect time of year for it um, because it's um, probably still hot in many locations across the U.S. And so you will, if you don't already have this stamp set, I, I'm sure you'll want to get it. But I'm going to show you how to make this card. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, I just realized I left my big shot across the room. So I'm just going to scamper for a second and go grab that. Okay, I am back. Let's 
see. Huh. I was all organized and now I'm just organized. Where is my, oh, okay. There I go. I stuck things underneath and I, um, when I pulled things off, I couldn't find them. Okay, so to start off with this card right here, let's do all the die cutting that we need. So we're gonna do the die, the embossing and the die cutting of the lots of labels pieces. So since I have um, my thin die adapter right here, so I have my platform, my thin die adapter, a cutting plate, I've got a piece of Thick Whisper White and a piece of Peekaboo Peach. And I'm going to take, these are the Lots of Labels Framelits. I'm going to take the biggest one and I'm going to use that to cut out my biggest piece. And um, I'm going to use the second largest one to cut out a piece that is just slightly smaller. And then I'm just going to run these through. Easy peasy. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera and lots of clicking. Okay, so we've got these two pieces. Number one, and here's the second one. And then we're going to do take away the thin die adapter, and we're going to use the Oh My Stars. Um, embossing folder and the reason I chose this one is I thought it looked like little sunshines and the reason I chose Sahara Sand for the backdrop of my card was because I thought it looked like sand and I thought popsicles at the beach that was kind of my my reasoning so I've got my base platform a cutting plate I've got my embossing folder with the Sahara Sand sandwich in between it and then we're going to run this through Okay, so this should be embossed and you I know you guys have um, embossing you have a big shot and do embossing folders But I am still impressed every time that comes through because it's got tone on tone And so it doesn't detract from the focal point, but it adds a lot to the card. So I just love embossing folders Okay so let's, the next thing I think we're gonna do, let's do the stamping. So we're gonna be stamping on this Whisper White layer. And the best way I found to get everything centered is to start off with the middle popsicle. So whatever color you wanna choose that to be, in my case, it will be Peekaboo Peach. And I'm going to use this, um, plain popsicle top right here. I'm gonna, I'm cleaning this off just I don't know what color I used it in last. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure that that's clean. Ink this up and I'm going to stamp this, uh, I'd say about a quarter of an inch down from the top and I want it centered on here like that. Then I'm gonna clean it off and I'm going to grab the next color, which I'm gonna use powder pink and that's one of our new in colors this year. So let me grab that. I'm going to ink that up and then I'm going to stamp that about a quarter inch away from my peekaboo peach popsicle and just make sure the bottoms line up. So, you know, it's not exact, but no one's going to notice, you know, it's it's pretty close lined up. So that's all I really am aiming for. The last popsicle I'm going to do in Calypso Coral, but I want the one with the little bite out of it. There's um, one stamp. You can see one stamp is just plain and the other one has a little bite out of it. And I thought one popsicle had to do that. So I'm just going to clean that off, grab my Calypso Coral and ink that up. And again, I want them about a quarter of an inch apart and then... I just want the bottoms to line up like that. So then you're just gonna grab the Sahara Sand because I think that makes a great uh, popsicle stick. And this is the little stamp that you use for the popsicle stick. And then you just make sure it's centered on the bottom and you just kind of line that up three times. 
like that. Pretty easy, huh? Um, and then I'm going to bring in my Calypso Coral one more time. And I've got uh, that I hope your day is as sweet as you are, which is an awesome greeting. Just going to ink that up here. And I'm going to stamp that right below. Once it's centered and lined up, hopefully, right below that. So then I've got Calypso Coral on my thumb, <laughs> which is not good. Let me grab a tissue, clean off my thumb, because, you know, the next thing that you do right after you get it on your fingers is you get it on your project, right? So that's not good. Then what I need to do is I want to do, I, I need those peekaboo peach layers to be on either side of this. But if you notice, like this piece is a lot smaller than um, my whisper white piece. So I'm just going to take this and cut it down the middle. Hello, Kathy. Good morning. Oh, that doesn't look very good, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be underneath everything. I've got my glue. So I'm just going to grab a bit of glue and I'm going to just add it there. It doesn't have to be precise because you just need enough of it to kind of peek through. And so I'm just going to give it just a little bit of a peek through, trying to make sure that it's centered. That looks somewhat good. Then I'll do the same for the other side. Just a little bit of glue. Okay. Center it. Try and make sure both sides look look the same, same height. Okay. Um. I, sometimes I'm a, too much of a perfectionist, um, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, that's gonna drive me crazy. It needs to be up just a little bit more. Okay. I'm not gonna fuss anymore about that. Okay, so then we've got, um, to make the rest of the card, I need a card base because this um, folder that I, um, this cardstock that I embossed uh, does not have, like it's not two-sided, so I need a card base. And for my card base, I've already got it folded, it's just a piece of eight and a half by five and a half and scored at four and a quarter and then I've folded it in half. Actually, I scored it in half and I used my bone folder to flatten it. So then we need to add this piece to that. So I'm going to add some glue to this piece and just add it to my card base. Make sure it's not crooked. I'm going to smooth that down. And then I've got this piece, which I can't seem to pick up. I'll put some glue on these two peekaboo peach ends. And then I'm just going to make sure that this is straight on the card, aligned like that and push it down. And then the whole reason, I should have started off with this, the whole reason I chose this color combination, I could have used different colors like Lemon Lime Twist, which I'm in love with, but the reason I chose this color combination is this ribbon right here. This is the Calypso Coral Ombre Ribbon. And it is just so pretty that I used the ribbon to choose my colors. So since it was Calypso Coral, I chose Calypso Coral. And then it kind of went into like a little bit of um, like a little bit more orangey. So I chose this Peekaboo Peach. And then finally, I thought, you know, my next best um, thing was this um, pink, which is our, our new pink, which is called... Why can I never remember that pink? Powder pink, powder pink. So that's the reason I chose those three colors was the ribbon. And um, so I already tied myself a little bow because I do really poorly tying bows on camera. It takes too long. And I'm just gonna take a little mini glue dot. Um, they're on there, you can maybe see them. And just stick my bow on there, peel it off. And then I can stick that down here at the bottom. 
and that is the card. It's pretty easy peasy. Um, depending on what type of ribbon you have, you could do whatever popsicle combination. You could do, you know, if you wanted to, like, just be really um, plain, you could just use white ribbon too. Um, and that way you could do whatever color combination you wanted to. Um, but I love this layout because it allows a lot of room for you to put whatever you want. Um, uh, on here so it, it, it's a lot of flexibility so you know you can take the, what was the original card this Christmas card and turn it into a summer card so that is my card for today um let me let me turn everyone around. let me turn you around everyone okay i'm back here so you know i hope you'll join us on our casing tuesday facebook group if you're already a member just go ahead and post your card i'd love to see what you come up with if you don't have the lots of labels framelits you could uh, play around and maybe do a rectangular layer so don't feel like oh i don't have that set of framelits i can't do that challenge you know um be creative we're not um, we try to use current Stampin' Up! products in this challenge um, so that if other people want a product that you're using, they can still get it. So um, we try and do that, um, but we're we're not going to be super, super strict on that. That's kind of just like our guiding principle. So, you know, it's easier for people to get things that are currently available. So we try and do that. But we can be creative within those guidelines. You know, if you don't have that that particular framelit be creative use substitute out a different framelit so um, if you're interested in any of the products that I use today uh, just click on the link in the description of this uh, video and there's a link that will take you to the blog and there's a clickable supply list and it will take you to the Stampin Up store where you can see all the details the price you know the description and everything there um, uh, also the measurements um, like the um, the measurements for my card the measurements uh, for the layers which which framelits I use that's also on my uh, blog um, and I will be uploading this uh, video later today onto YouTube so if you want to refer back to it you can go there and uh, check it out again so thank you so much for joining me this morning if you have any questions or anything like that um, I don't see any right now but you are welcome to post them on the video and I will go back later today and make sure I answer all of those Thank you, Lisa. I'm glad you love the card. I hope you guys all have a great day. And I will be back here next Tuesday with another um, Casing Tuesday card. And I hope you'll join me again. Have a great week, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.